This really wasn't the plan. The plan was to show you around the Ring of Kerry, places like the Gap of Dunlow, and prove that you can have an amazing staycation in August in Ireland in a Volkswagen Grand California. And then Ellen decided to show up, and I had to pack my bags and get the hell out of there. So, in about 30 hours, I covered over 800 kilometers in this VW Grand California. I've had showers in it, I've slept in it, I've cooked in it, I've done pretty much everything you can do legally in a Grand California. So if you're here to find out more about what one of these has to offer, you are in the right place. Ellen. Storm Ellen. Sake. This bus is six meters long, so it's quite long and it fits a lot. In fact, in here, with a automatic folding out step, first thing that greets you is a fridge and freezer. So step on board. You've got an extra little shelf back here. And up here, you've got a freezer, which stores lots of ice for cold drinks when you're on your lovely summer staycation. On top of your fridge, you've got a fully operational sink, complete with running water. And over here is a two ringed gas hob. The gas storage areas are at the back and I'll show you them in a few minutes. And you've got drawers in here. They've got little buttons that clip them in so they don't come out when you're taking a sharp bend. There's a few more here also. So that's your main kind of kitchen unit. We've got a pull out area here. Just gives you a little bit more room as well when you're chopping things or preparing meals on board. Oh look, more sneaky charging points. Satellite dish can be coaxed in there. Two more USBs and an actual plug. So much of what you'll use when you're camping is on this screen here. So it's a touch screen, displays your water, lets you know how much fresh water you have in your tank, gray water you have in your tank. These are all kind of words and terminology I've had to get my head around while camping. When you put it into camping mode here, that step will constantly stay out. You can control your heating, your hot water, you can tell it how hot you want it to be. Maybe 40 degrees Celsius is enough for your water. Or maybe you're cold and you want 60 degrees because you're in a storm, on a staycation. You can also determine how your heat source comes from. Is it gas or is it electricity if you're plugged in at a campsite? There's other features on this as well as the ambient lighting controls. You can turn them on. Very nice. There's two separate batteries on board, your general battery for driving the vehicle, and then your one for powering so much of the fridge and the electrics and all different kinds of things when you're here. And that's displayed on that bit of information. If you're trying to set whether the heat for the water comes through gas or electricity, well, you have a little controller here, and that's kind of hidden away. And it took me, well, about 10 minutes to figure that out. You can see here there's little vents throughout the cabin and they push out hot and cold air. And it's all very easy to use. You can set up timers on it, you can set up dates on it, and you can decide whether you want your Wi-Fi to work and how you want your sound system paired with the vehicle and your mobile device, and then that's pumped through the speakers. So it's all very easy to use and fully touchscreen. And when you're not using it, you just pop it off and it disappears. Another huge benefit a Grand California has over so many rivals and other types of motorhomes is the fact that it has its own fully self-sufficient shower and toilet and sink in here. Come with me to the magic door. You have a mirror that has handy little clips up here and that stops you 
having to deal with any crashes of medicine while you're driving and again they're safely kept in place in there there's another one that there's another set there's another set here that don't have a mirror but again they're still safely tucked in a place to store your towel when you're having a nice little shower this area here is a sink so rest there you can actually remove that if you wanted to running water you finished you tilt that up and it goes down to your gray water area so all the buttons are operated by these so they lock in they're just more of your pipe work for all the old essentials and your toilet which is clean it's down here and you operate the flush feature with this and then you'll also hold your button with that and that rinses the toilet there's loads of uh, height above your head as well so it actually it doesn't even feel that claustrophobic in the shower area and like i said for a shower which i had in killarney national park a hot steaming shower while everyone else was walking around in the mud it was uh, it was pretty nice your tap is also your shower so that just hangs down and when the engine is started or you're connected up to electricity you've got a decent fly out of that shower up here is a little skylight again that you can open to let steam out when you're sharing make them less bright for evening time this is a little net area that you have that covers up everything and that means that no flies and bugs can get in but you can still have fresh air coming in to the california at all times by the way all these skylights have full closed blinds but they also have again more of those nets just to keep flies and stuff out and again if you wanted to sleep at night time if you're in total uh, wilderness in a quiet area you could have that net closed but still have your window open and these also have little pulley areas here's another way you can open and again lots of fresh air coming in Lots of people have asked me, do you have to hop up onto the bug beds? No, you don't. There's a little ladder. It's really light. It's good quality anti-slip surfaces on it. And up you go into this area. Now, it has a weight limit of 150 kilos. This area has an extendable bit, so that clips in there. You would get a decent sized adult into that area because it's still quite long. Not quite six foot, but it's all right. These little hooks here they are for holding this netting that runs the whole way along here and clips on here and here and here and that stops kids then coming over the edge at night time i know you guys are want to know can an adult get up here yes yes we can so tuck yourself down here now it does obviously slope down a bit the more you go in towards the roof of the vehicle wherever your views are whether it's a sea view or a forest view from the roof is absolutely deadly. It is quite a drop down there, so make sure you have your ladder on at all times when there's kids up here. When you're not using this button, press. Up it goes, locks into place up here. And it gives you more just walking around space then when that's up. So clever. The storage bins are plentiful, similar to airlines, they are just overhead bins and you can pop loads of stuff into these. They've got little lips down here as well to stop stuff sliding around. Uh, for example, the one back here then over the main double bed is really big and it goes like in at the back and at the sides. We've got a walk-on wardrobe also because there's a little bar for hanging shirts and jackets and a bit of space cut out for them too. That's how those lights work. Hold them and they dim 
nicely dotted around the Grand California are USB ports and it's not just one there, there's, there's two. So you can both charge your devices at night time assuming you have a friend to sleep in the back of the van with. And when you wake up in the morning with that scene, whatever your view is, it's lovely. You normally have to pay an awful lot of money to get a decent view from a hotel room, but you get it for free. Below the main double bed then, there is even more storage area in here. I was able to put buggies and child seats and stuff that we were just packing for down here. But if you're using it for a two person uh, travel experience, you're gonna have all this space in here to put whatever you want. Little tip then is just to remove that picnic table from the rear seat area, just when you're not using it, because it gives you more space in the back. And again, you can be quite flexible with what you're gonna put in there and they might store wellies and other bits of clothing. Charging options here again, more room for a plug. You have tethering hooks to tie anything you want down. This is what I mean about more of those presses. So you've got to keep your power cord in there, but then you still have loads of other room. So this is the rear seat area. It'll carry two kids. There's two Isofix seats. The bench is just about big enough to take the width of two child seats on it. But certainly if kids are in smaller boosters or just using these seats, they'll be absolutely fine. On newer versions of the Grand Cali, you're gonna get wireless charging, so you can put a device down here. Even if you're having rain, which in Ireland, you know, that happens. You can still have this open. But also more importantly, if you are cooking at this area, and you don't want smells, well, the smells go straight out here. And when you've had enough of the world, close your blinds and again, privacy. Probably hard to see during the daytime, but there's your ambient light that comes on for your awning also. You can fold this bit up. You have quick release straps that hold it into place. And it helps then if you're stacking stuff in here using the overhead bins. By the way, one of these will house the windscreen and side window covers and it worked a treat. It was pitch dark. Once this area is down, the whole space is out of use. And if there was some magical way that that could disappear into those presses and give you all this extra space, it would, it would be like, it'd be like a lounge. It'd be spectacular. You'd think one share would be enough in a vehicle like this, but oh no, because you actually get two. So in here, there's another shower. Shower head, full, full thing. And when you come around to this side, pop that open, connect it on. Do you want hot or cold? And away you go again. Another trick around the back is this pole for the awning. It'd be amazing if it was uh, electric, but, you know, you're gonna be drinking a lot of beer, eating a lot of pizza. We've got two little stands here. They slide down, clip them into place. Now, I've had a tiny bit of practice with this, but overall, it's another example of how things are so simply engineered on this vehicle. And let's face it, in Ireland, one of these is gonna come in handy a lot. Now, Volkswagen are fairly confident that people are gonna buy these vehicles more now than ever because they don't wanna to go to hotels. They've actually put on 12 additional production units in the factory to come here to Ireland, so there'll be more Grand Californias available to buy, whether it's for this year or if you're planning ahead to summer 2021. That can't come quick enough to be fair. There's a few areas inside here I just need to bring to your attention. Having just a tiny bit more flexibility in how this bench sits, it's not quite a, you know like that but just having an inch or two where it can recline would be brilliant. For kids in the back they're probably not going to notice much. For adults on a longer journey 
it just might get a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe you'd have to rotate who gets to sit in the front of these captain seats or something like that. Sit into your seat, little handle under here, twist. You'll do a full rotation and you can stretch out. And you can still adjust this seat the same way as if you were driving. So you can move it back, give yourself more leg room, bring yourself back closer to the table, twist it at an angle. If this is a better position for you to have a beer at night time when you've settled down to camp for the night. Same with the front passenger seat, it will rotate in the exact same way. The steering wheel is straight out of a Volkswagen Golf. Satnav is again from the previous generation VWs, but coloured, easy to use, very, very reliable actually. In fact, I use this more than Google Maps on some of the journey because I just wasn't sure, but this had smaller roads in great detail. You've got climate control, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and loads of places to store things, whether it's in the doors, the dashboard, the cup holders, your visibility is absolutely huge. Sun visors are exceptional and they need to be because the windscreen is ginormous. And it's actually not as hard to drive as you would think. No California would be complete without its deck chairs, right? And there's clips here, again, to stop it rattling around. So much thought has gone into things like, will this annoy me when I'm, when I'm driving? And then within seconds, you have a deck chair to sit back, relax, and take in the view wherever the view is. What about on this windy day with a lovely view, you decide you want to have some food. Well, they've thought of that as well because there's a second picnic table. Again, it's clipped in so it doesn't rattle. And again, in seconds, this lifts out, clips into place. And al fresco dining is all yours. Now, where's that pizza I ordered? This one has almost 180 brake horsepower. It's front wheel drive, you can get four motion. Your automatic gearbox is an eight speed DSG. Super smooth, super slick gear changes. You'll get blind spot, you'll get traction control. This one falls under the three and a half thousand kilogram or 3.5 ton vehicle which means you can drive it on a normal B license you don't need to go and do any sort of additional tests and that's another bonus for this vehicle that it's flexible in that way crosswinds are interesting uh, I had a few of them again thanks to Ms Ellen on the way home and on motorways and going past trucks on the inside there's a little bit of kind of turbulence as you go past them so that's interesting because it's quite a high-sided vehicle But well, the combination of the automatic gearbox, the good visibility, your driving aids, massive windscreen, it makes driving the vehicle relatively easy. You've just got to watch coming out of junctions, how far in or out your back wheels are, and just watch out for pedestrians and smaller cars. And people are generally, they'll get out of your way when they see this thing coming because it's substantial in its size. You've got cruise control also, so you really just put it into cruise Settle into your journey, your armrests on both sides, you've got lumbar support, very comfortable seats, there's a good bit of give in the suspension so it just kind of floats along and it's a very pleasant thing to drive to be honest with you. You do have to get used to a lot of rattles and bumps and the good old Irish roads sometimes aren't great if you've got Delft down the back but everything is secured, nothing fell out during my uh, 700 plus round trip to Kerry alone we got on very, very well. So I, I don't have any real negative things at all to say about driving this. It is big, it's a little bit daunting at first, but you'll get used to it very, very quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed this look around the Volkswagen Grand California on this episode of Nobby on Cars. It's certainly been an interesting week when it comes to weather and storms 
and emptying toilet cassettes, all part of camper van life, but a lot of it was new to me. It's certainly a vehicle that will give you endless opportunities. You can camp in the wild in this because the battery will keep you going. On a campsite, you've got electricity to keep you going. You can have a shower literally in the middle of nowhere. And it is tight for four people, but if two of you are considering buying one of these, there's no doubt it will do pretty much everything you can throw at it. And that's the beauty of it. But some people say the interior is so white and bright and clinical. Others will love the fact that it's built in a factory and everything is you know, really engineered. Whereas some of the retrofit companies will take a van and put an actual living space into it. They have their pros and cons too. So there's gonna be different options of camper vans that may or may not suit you. But it's made some great memories for me this week. I've spent lots of time with my family. Again, you're gonna to want to really make sure you all get along very, very well because it's a confined space at the best of times. I saw some amazing sights this week around the Ring of Kerry. The landscape of Ireland truly is beautiful. There's no better way to see it, even over hedges and hills and amazing views in a higher up position that the Grand California allows. And if you want to get around in style, this is the way to do it. This will stop traffic driving through small towns. You'll hear people say, oh, I love that camper van. Get ready to talk to absolute strangers on the street. They'll come up to you in car parks. They'll ask you questions about it. They'll ask you, how high is it? How many does it sleep? How much does it cost? Is it yours? These are questions that people want to know because this thing will stop traffic when it drives through. I have to be honest with you, I'm tinged with sadness and disappointment at the same time. For over a year, I've had this vehicle booked in to do a trip in this summer. And you just can't predict Irish weathers and having to tell a five-year-old that we have to go home early because there's a storm on the way. It just wasn't an easy conversation to have because kids love these vehicles. And we've been having chats in our house for months about what it had and the fact that it had its own bunk beds and toilet and it was just something special. Sadly, the Irish summer is just something you can't predict. But if you're going on a road trip soon, I hope you do get better weather. And certainly if you're thinking of somewhere to go, carry all day long these things absolutely love it oh and one more thing get used to waving to the campervan drivers that's a thing apparently thanks for watching